Okay, you requested it and now we are responding. Last night on Late News Tonight, we asked you what you wanted to know about at the state capitol. Lawmakers are facing a big deadline this week to get their bills passed out of their chambers. And one of you texted us, I would like to know about bills regarding charter schools. Well, one headline reads, the biggest statewide battle over charter schools in the country is coming to a head in California. But what does that even mean? Let's connect the dots. There are over 1,300 charter schools operating in California. They serve more than 600,000 children. That's about 10% of the total public school population. Charter schools are governed by something called the Charter Schools Act of 1992. They operate independently from their school district. However, they are funded by the district and state like a public school. Now, Charter schools are nothing new, but regulating them has caused a lot of debate. This year at the state capitol, lawmakers are discussing three major bills that could change the future of charter schools. First is AB 1505, which is moving on to the Senate. It could change how charter schools are approved. Right now, a charter can be approved by the state if a local school district or county office denies it. If this bill becomes law, the state would be taken out of the equation and local government would have the final say. Then there is AB 1506. If it becomes law, it would place a cap on charter schools in the state. Whatever charter schools were operating on January 1st, 2020, well, that would be it. A charter school would have to be shut down in order for another one to open. This bill faces a Friday deadline to get out of the assembly and on to the Senate. Finally, AB 1507. Now, this bill would stop charter schools from opening other schools outside the district where they got their original charter. This bill will also be moving on to the Senate. Now, there is still a long way to go for these bills to make it to the governor's desk. Governor Newsom has not publicly said if he will sign them, but he has acknowledged more needs to be done about charter schools. He says the state superintendent is actually looking into them. He also signed a bill that adds more transparency to charter school meetings. We know there is a lot going on at the state capitol, and if there is something you would like to know more about, just text us. Send your questions to 916-321-3310, and we'll do our best to get you some answers.